Hi, I'm Mary. I'm Tina. And this is Bird Barf. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing with this is we will spend five minutes talking about a particular book. Um, if one of us has read it, then that's the one that'll talk about it. If both of us have, we'll both talk about it. So uh, this time around, it's pretty much just me. Yeah, just Mary ride. Well, I ride things, but not this. <laughs> um, so Mary, what book did you read this week? Uh, I read So Anyway by John Cleese. Uh, what made you want to read this book? Uh, I'm kind of obsessed with money. Well, I think, like most people, I'm obsessed with Monty Python. Because I just think, I started watching it when I was a kid, and I was like, well, I'd heard he was coming out with a book, and I heard him on the Nerdist podcast, and I was like, okay, maybe I will look at it, because I hadn't wanted to read it if I thought it was just going to be, like, only about Monty Python, because I feel like I kind of want that to have its own magical, like, weirdness. But when I heard this was all about his life leading up to Monty Python, I was kind of like, all right, that's interesting. Um, so did you like it? I did. I actually was very surprised because some of the reviews for it wound up being really negative and I kind of had like a completely different reaction to it. Like a lot of people were talking about how he's so caustic and he hates everybody, but I thought he was actually really respectful. Like he talks about a lot of really difficult people, like his mother <laughs> and Graham Chapman and stuff, but he does it with a lot of respect and you can tell. I thought it was very warm. Like, he's, he seems to be at a point now where he looks back at everything and is like, I can see how all of this led to where I, you know, de how I developed myself and where I am now in all of this. So I thought it was very nicely done. So what stuck out from you or to you in this book? Um, <laughs> what stuck out from you? <laughs> yeah, it stabbed me a couple times and I was really frightened. <laughs> it was really, uh, it was like a porcupine, that book. <laughs> <laughs> that was how they meant when they said he's, he's prickly. Um... I did. It was interesting because I never knew that he was a teacher. Like, he actually taught kids, but didn't Like really... an elementary school teacher? Yeah, like he was just a teacher, and he was supposed to teach, like, geography, but he didn't really know anything about it, so he'd study it and then teach it, and it was really funny, the weird stories and stuff. Um, and that was interesting because I didn't know it. Um, he talked about, like, meeting different people, like Graham Chapman in particular, and, like, when he went to, uh, I think he went to Cambridge, and just the footlights and joining the different kind of comedy groups. Um, he also randomly attacks Terry Gilliam. <laughs> like, it'll just be a random paragraph where he'll just insult Terry I, Gilliam. I'm sorry, I thought you meant, like, he, like, physically attacked no. him in real life. This, no, like, he, randomly. Yeah. And no, told there's an entire it. paragraph about how <laughs> Terry Gilliam, I guess, claims that he and John Cleese got into a physical fight, but John Cleese doesn't remember it, so he goes, I guess Terry could have, like, attacked me and I might not have noticed, because he's very short. <laughs> like, that literally is a paragraph in the book. And the book is just, it's funny and it's weird, and there's, like... It really fits as the first bird barf discussion, because there's this whole story about one of his friends waking up and finding a turkey vomiting <laughs> on his bed in this hotel they're standing next to, or on, like, a mantle. And I'm just like, oh, that that's apt. Um, but it is very honest, and he talks a lot about, like, you know, like, the imposter sy syndrome, like, where you expect any moment that someone's going to find out that you're not as good at what you're doing as you are pretending to be. Um, which, like, really, John Cleese? You are, like, you're John Cleese. You can't have imposter syndrome. But he definitely does, and it's really interesting to, you know, hear all that and go through it. And I just thought it was really engaging and really fun. And his reminiscence, he kind of, like, meanders. He'll, like, have a thought and just sort of drift off that way for a little while and pop back to what he was saying. And it's, it's fun. It feels like a conversation. So, the most important question, what yes. is the bird barf level of this book? Um, barf of joy. Definitely. By the way, the I'm bird barf level is something that Mary <laughs> wanted to do, and now I think is ridiculous and sort of funny, so we're going to go with it. Yeah, we're, we're not going to make the sounds, and, and there's not actually a level, so it's going to be whatever we can say related to barfing. Yeah, anything that sounds... It's going to be sounds... different, and they're all going to mean different things. Yeah, pretty much. And that's that's how it's all going to go. Um, but yeah, there was that. Um, oh, and at one point he threw up on a camera because he was seasick. So there was a lot of vomit in this story, which normally doesn't, like, get me going, but I thought it was, you know, applicable for this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I really liked it. It was, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. And I got, like I said, it was a really warm, just funny, reminiscent, reminiscent, he remembers stuff. Um, <laughs> he just, remembers stuff. It is really cool. And he wrote it down it. in a book. It's amazing. Good job. He has a lot of talents. No, I recommend it. If you like Monty Python, if you like John Cleese, definitely read this. Don't read this for Monty Python because he really does stop at that point. Like, that's his ending point is Monty Python. So everything up till there is fair game. Otherwise, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I yep. can't talk. Read it. <laughs> Bye.